Hey guys, I'm Walt, K4OGO, or for uh, one more day, I'm about to head home. I'm uh, SP stroke K4OGO. Uh, if you've been following the channel or uh, if you're a subscriber, you know, I've been in, um, been over in Europe and I've been in Poland for, uh, for five and a half weeks now. I'm getting ready to go back home to the States, but uh, I've been over here working. And while I've been working, I've been making a different antenna every week. And this final antenna, I, I had an idea. You know, I said, I want to take this antenna and really aim at the 20 meter band and work an entire day of QRP. I thought that would be fun. I, I have two QRP radios with me. I have my uh, Zygu G90, which I can turn down to 10 watts for SSB. And I have my um, USDR, USDX um, radio with me. I brought that as a backup, which is about, you know, on battery power, it's about five watts. So I wanted a, a, a day where I could kind of play around with those two radios and an antenna that I could do it on 20 meters, which is my favorite band. I, I love the 20 meter band strictly for DX. It's a great DXing um, band. And, you know, where I'm at right now, 10 meter band's kind of tough because I'm, I'm way far north and the maximum us usable frequency, it's just a small window for like the 10 meter band. 15's okay occasionally, but it's kind of tough. Well, the antenna I wanted to build and decided to build was a shortened in-fed half wave, basically an in-fed half wave that was half a wavelength for 20 meters, which would make it, you know, under 33 feet, you know, 32 feet, you know, a little bit between 32, 33 feet long, or basically right around 10 meters long. So what I did was I took a 49 to one un, -un up at the top window where I was at and angled down a a half wavelength um, for the 20 meter band, uh, a line down, uh, put an insulator at the end of it in a rope. One thing I also do, and, and there's a lot of debate on this, but I knew with the, the end that I was going to feed it from being high, I, I put a counterpoise that's only 5% of a wavelength. There's a lot of debate and discussion on this. I've done this with other antennas, even verticals, and, and it seems to work well. So that's what I did with it. That's the that's the uh, construction of the antenna. antenna. Put it up and um, before I got off to QRP, I wanted to just make one or two full, well, I'll call them full power. 20 watts is not exactly a lot, but uh, I wanted to get on and, uh, and, and do, uh, do full power for a, a QSO or two to see how I was getting out. So here you go. Here's the uh, construction of the antenna and, uh, and me testing it out for the first time. Okay, here's the antenna. Here's a insulator. And I got it on an angle here, trying to get it on a pretty decent angle to start off with. I got a lot of extra rope tied to this thing, so when I want to reposition it, I can. I've got a uh, tent stake down there in the ground. And there is the 20 meter infed half wave. If you can see there at the top of the window also, I have that small counterpoise. It's 5% of a wavelength. So I'm using about 14,240. So the wire here is a half a wavelength of 14,240. And the counterpoise up there is 5% of that. Sorry for the shaky camera here. I'm cold. <laughs> anyway, let's see if this thing works. The line is up to the top of the window. I'm a 49 to 1. X tenna un un. Did you see there the coax? There's my little short 5% uh, counterpoise there. And there's the antenna out in the backyard. I'll fire up my uh, Zygu G90 and see what I can do. Oh, Mike Zero. X ray, X ray, Tango 14293. Listening. Sugar Papa, stroke 04 Oscar, golf Oscar. Uh, Sugar Papa, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, uh, Oscar, there's Walt. Uh, how you doing, Walt? Doing great, Callum, doing great. You're 5'9 here in the north of Poland. You're sounding great. Okay, uh, you're probably about 5 and 9 on the meter. I've got the preamp off, so you're showing about S3, Walt, but no problem at all, over. Oh, that's good, that's good. Like I said, just 20 watts here with the Zygu G90. I just put an antenna out today. It's just a, uh, a, half, a half way for 20, just a, like a 33 foot wire window here and uh it looks like it's working so thanks for taking the call no problem 
Well, see you next time. Good luck, old friend. Okay, that was cool. It's always wonderful when you uh, want to hear yourself. And uh, with a lot of them, um, you know, some of these really cool YouTubers uh, go doing live streams, that's a good way to, you know, see if you can break through a pile up and, uh, and, and, and check it out and actually hear what you sounded like. And um, Centena was doing really well over to the UK right off the bat. I talked to Callum and then uh, quite a few others. This was on a, this was a, like a Friday afternoon. So this was the next day I was going to get up and, and in the morning and just make the entire day a QRP day. So uh, what I did was um, the very next morning I got up, got on and just started listening for people calling CQ. And what was really cool was I, I heard a, a QRPer, another QRPer in Italy calling CQ and was able to answer him. Absolutely, you're doing the job. Yeah, I'm running 10 watts right now. Uh, just 10 watts uh, with an 870. I still uh, turn down the power. And uh, my antenna is an X-beam at 40 feet. We have a good propagation. Lovely sunny day, sun shining, or quite cold, 10 degrees, but not comparing to your uh, location. Uh, just are you at below zero, world over. Yes, yes, it's um, it's it's about uh, about minus two, minus three here right now. Still very cold, but uh, your signal is wonderful. You're five nine plus five. You you sound really good here. Thank you for your flowers, work. Yeah, antenna is doing a fabulous job, and you were ten over, ten over, absolutely great signal. That was cool, you know. Um, coming across talking to to Tony there in Italy. Um, he, he was telling me that he's a subscriber and we, st we were talking uh, at uh, QRP in that QSO. I just showed you a quick clip to give you an idea of a uh, signal report and what I sounded like. So what we both did was he switched over from the rig he was using over to his Zygu X6100, uh, X6100. And, and as, as he was doing that, I took, took the... Uh, Zygu G90, uh, the antenna out of it, and uh, plugged in the USDR, USDX rig that I had with me as a backup. And uh, he started off at one watt, and, uh, and I could hear him. It's really faint, I didn't put it in the video, but he stepped up from one to five to 10. And then it could also hear me on the, uh, coming back around. Here, here you go, here's a clip of that. QSL, QSL, better, very good at five watts. It's a wonderful signal here with five watts. Okay, now I'm running 10 watts. 10 watts is uh, uh, power. 10 watts, 10 watts, over. QSL, 10 watts is excellent. It sounds very good at 10 watts. Okay, after that, for the rest of the day, I made quite a few contacts at QRP with 10 watts in the G90 across Europe. One thing I noticed that uh, with the angle of the antenna, the way it was sloping down, directionally, I was really doing well broadside and straight ahead of the antenna. As you saw when I was talking to Callum at the beginning of the video, I aimed this thing straight at the UK. So, you know, my, my, my power and my signal seemed to be doing really well that way, but it was also doing real well broadband. Here's just a few quick parts and clips to show you some of the contacts I made around me broadband with this antenna. Fine, fine on your 10 watch, doing excellent job for you. Um, I can copy you rather well. Um, 55257 five, here, yeah, so... Okay, thank you very much. Uh, five words, uh, so that uh, I can understand uh, why you are uh, quite weak. Thank you very much for the QSO, uh, by the way, and uh, seven three. Happy Happy New Year and Merry Christmas if you are staying in Poland uh, till the end of the year. Sugar Papa, uh, stroke Kilo Four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. This is Sango Mike Six Delta Echo Oscar. Bye bye.
Getting back to that directional thing, the next day, I, I'm going to, this is where the uh, guitar player in me and the amp came in. I, I, I turned it all the way back up to 20 watts for, for one reason. I heard Iceland calling. I was like, and that's a country I don't have in the log. I've always wanted a CUSO with Iceland and, uh, and, and made it through pretty awesome and, uh, and, and got a pretty good signal report back. Sugar Papa Stroke Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar. That was pretty cool, and that CUSO was actually with the uh, president of the uh, Icelandic Radio Amateurs, which is like like our A R R L in the states there. So really cool CUSO, and, and that was uh, a good one and for me. And exciting to get Iceland in the book. It's one of the few countries that I don't have and I really wanted, and have worked hard on it. But uh, really cool. Anyway, that's it. Um, that's the antenna. That's what I did. That was the last one of this trip. I'm uh, tomorrow. I'm headed home back to the United States. I've been so blessed to have this yard and, and the opportunity, um, the person that I'm renting this house from, who just absolutely said, do whatever you want, have fun. And uh, it's been really cool to experiment with different antennas. Um, I'm scheduled to come back in about two months. So I'll do this again. I gotta, you know, I'm sure I'll come across a few other antennas and things that I wanna do. But until then, I'm headed back home and I'm really excited. It's the holiday season here now and um, you know, I, I, I miss my family. I can't wait to get back. Um, Bought some toys while I was here too. You know, I'm making a little extra per diem there. I had a little bit of spending money and uh, got some co cool little um, things that I've got. Uh, so a, a couple of little QRP rigs. And uh, I've also been learning CW while I'm here. I'm getting there. I'm almost, I, I just got to get a little bit more confident. Um, I'm going to try that first uh, CW Q so soon. I'm sure it will be uh, probably comical, but uh, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to plow through it. I'm not... I'm not going to be, I'm just going to leave the fear behind. I know I'll probably make a lot of mistakes, but I'm getting ready to do that. So I'm um, getting ready to head down the CW trail because for QRP, especially with me when I like to go out on the beach and portable or whatever, should be a really cool added feature that I could do. I'll go out and work some SSB voice, which is my favorite, absolutely. And then maybe play around with some CW as well while I'm out portable. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you've been watching this whole series where I've been uh, over here in Poland and, and you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I, I really do appreciate. If not, it's the first time you see me. Hey, uh, subscribe and ring the bell. I like to have fun. I'm not an expert by no means. I just like to, I like to learn as I go along and, and document it and, um, and investigate and, and try out new, new things, new rigs, new antennas and that type of thing. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Walt. For the last time, Sugar Papa stroke Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar. Signing off. 73, my friends.